Now let's implement our server. Uh, what do we need for this? First, we need to install two dependencies, uh, Express and Socket.io. Let's do it. Let's go to our server directory and type yarn add express and socket.io. Express is uh, the most popular uh, Node.js server library and socket.io is commonly used a WebSocket uh, library. So we will use uh, these two uh, dependencies uh, to create our uh, web signaling server. Dependencies are installed. Uh, now let's go to our index.ts uh, and delete this console log. We, we don't need it anymore. We need to import express first. And as you see, uh, we have an error here. C could not find the declaration file for module express. Uh, because we are using TypeScript, we need um, to install types for uh, some libraries that do not have uh, built-in types and uh, Express, uh, Express doesn't have them, so we need to uh, install them additionally. So we just um, run yarn add and install types Express. Now error is gone uh, and we can continue. Uh, let's um, declare a variable port and uh, set up our port where we will run the server. And then we also will uh, have to import uh, HTTP library. We don't need to install it because it's um, it, it comes by default. And now we uh, create an app, an express app. And we create an HTTP server. And pass an app to this uh, create server function. And then we listen to our server on our port that we just declared. And now uh, let's check if it works. Uh, let's just uh, run yarn dev and see. Uh, as you see, we have this console log listening to the server on 8080, and it means that everything works for now. Uh, now, uh, let's um, add our uh, web sockets to this simple server. We need to import the uh, WebSocket library as well. Let's import the server from uh, WebSockets. And now we create our instance using this server and pass our HTTP server to it. It can be a little bit confusing because it's like a few different things. It's Express app, it's HTTP server and it's WebSocket server. So first we create uh, Express app, then we create HTTP server and then we create WebSocket server. Uh, we can uh, subscribe on uh, events. So when uh, our client will connect to our, uh, to our web signaling server, uh, connection event will fire. And we will listen it on the server. For now, we will just console log 
this. Our server is ready to accept connections. Now we need to set up our client. We go to client folder and in SRC we open up TS and there uh, we need to connect to our server. But before we do it, uh, we go to our uh, client folder and we need to install uh, socket IO for client as well. So yarn add socket.io client. Uh, here we don't have to install types separately because uh, Socket.io has built-in types. Uh, they are coming together with library. When our library is installed, we can import. We can import Socket.io, and uh, let's uh, declare a constant here with the uh, link uh, with the URL for our server. In uh, use effect, when our application is mounted, we will uh, connect to the server. Now let's uh, run our application and test what is going on. Does it work or not? Uh, now when we run our uh, front-end application, uh, we should see uh, if uh, server uh, console's log our user is connected. But now we have this uh, course error and um, I will show you how to fix it. Because our applications are on different ports, uh, this error happens, but it's uh, very easy to fix. We should just go to our index.ts on server and we need to import course and pass it to our app.use so we uh, tell our express server that we want to allow course and uh, in our uh, socket server we need to pass options as well for course uh, it will be course uh, origin uh, here we can uh, pass a, an, uh, a host from which we will connect the server but I uh, will uh, just pass uh, I will just allow to connect from everywhere for simplicity uh, and um, we also will set up methods that we allow to use get and post and let's check now if it works yes now we do not have error and what is in our server console yeah we have this user is connected and if we uh, refresh the page we have another one so we created our first WebSocket server, a web signaling server, and let's also uh, create a listener for disconnecting user. <clears throat> when uh, we close the browser or tab of the browser uh, with our application, the client will send an event to the server that it is disconnected. Uh, that's how we do it. We listen to disconnect event and pass another callback and in this callback we will just write another console log about user is disconnected and as you see uh, in this function in this callback we uh, pass uh, one argument our socket and we use it here to listen to this disconnect event so let's check we refresh the page user is connected and now, uh, if we close this page, this tab, you see that user is disconnected and now our server knows about it. That's it for the second episode of this tutorial. And if you want to watch more, click the next video in this playlist and stay tuned.
have cars